Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 Western Gunfight at Rio Bravo. The film is directed by Joe Cornett and it stars Alexander Nerske, Olivier Grunier, Matthias Hughes and Joe Cornett, who is the director. Right. The film focuses on a small western town um, and the marshal brings a prisoner to this town. Now the marshal's played by Olivier Gruner um, and the prisoner is Matthias Hughes who is the head of a vicious gang of cowboys. Um, he asks if he could put uh, his prisoner in the cell. Uh, he asks the sheriff if he can put him in the, sh in the cell so he can spend a couple of days to rest up. He agrees much to the dismay of the look of the mayor who knows who um, this prisoner is and there is a stranger in this town uh, called Ivan played by Alexander Nerske who um, is something of um, a gunslinger if you like he's you know he's an, an ex-military man and he likes to see justice served however uh, they have to fight for survival when this vicious prisoner's gang come into town to try and take everybody out to release him. Right, what are my thoughts on gunfight at Rio Bravo? Well, as westerns go, and as low-budget westerns go, because make no mistake, this is a fairly low-budget film, but it, it, you know, it's I've seen far worse low-budget films in regards to how they are presented and looked. Uh, that out of the film is competently shot for sure you know what i mean they kind of know what they want to go for here and it's quite a simple concept here you've got a prisoner in a cell and you've got like uh the local sheriff the marshal and this mysterious stranger all defending the town against this horde of you know vicious cowboys who are trying to release their leader from this prison cell so there's a bit of a Magnificent Seven type feel to the film, you know what I mean? It's going for a very familiar vibe, you know what I mean? Uh, backs against the wall, everybody's got to pick up a gun and join in type thing. We've seen it many, many times over the years in Westerns, so there's nothing new to it. It's a fairly simple story. What makes this film stand out to a large degree and certainly makes it unique is Alexander Nervsky is Russian. <clears throat> And they don't try and hide that in the film. He plays a Russian in this film. Then you've got Olivier Gruner, who's French, who plays a marshal in this film. And you've got Matthias Hughes, who's German. So you've got all these European actors in a traditional Western. And it just feels odd. Um, it really, really does. Now, if Oliver Gruner's name sounds familiar. He was quite a prominent martial artist action star in the 90s. Did a few things. And the, very, and the same with Matthias Hughes. He played a villain in a lot of martial arts films back in the day. I think he was in um, No Retreat, No Surrender 2 for one that springs to mind. But he's done more than that. He's did a few with Cynthia Rothrock as well, I think, in the past. So, And he's still in great shape as well for this film, to be fair. So you've got these. You've got a Russian, a Frenchman and a German in a traditional western um and it once you get over that hurdle if you like what we've got here is a fairly tidy western that doesn't overextend itself it doesn't focus too heavily on dialogue that none of them are going to be able to deliver in a massively convincing way um and there's no other complicated plot lines thrown in for good measure basically um the kind of stretch it out in a nice tidy fashion over the 90 minutes or wherever, however long it is and the gunfights are fairly entertaining um like much of the last half an hour like i say is like you know the defense of this town from this horde of cowboys but some of the letdowns here in this film is the, the this gang of vicious cowboys who were supposed to be coming to take their leader back um just don't present themselves as particularly vicious. Most of them are old um, and pretty much broken down, you know what I mean? And they don't particularly act vicious. They try, they try and do this one scene, if you like, to show you how vicious this gang is because they kind of have like a knife fight with a prisoner. Um, but it just, you just don't buy it. Do you know what I mean? 
Um, they don't feel like a particular threat. And the only one that does is played by Matthias Hughes, and he's behind a cell for 90% of this film, a cell door. So he's not given enough to do. And he could have been a credible threat here in this film, and it, you don't really get that. Another kind of mistake they make here in this film is the Ivan character, played by the Russian guy, he's like invincible. You know, they almost present him as a Terminator cowboy. You know what I mean? He's his aim's perfect. You know, he's he, you never real, you never feel at all that he is in any danger in this film. He's the man. He's the top dog. He can take everybody out. And there's even a scene at the end where he changes his outfit and he puts on like this leather jacket. So he almost starts looking like a Terminator while he's going around this town killing the bad guys. So as entertaining as it is watching some, you know, perfectly fine um, and nicely filmed shootouts, you don't really feel there's any real threat there. And it's the same with Oliver Grunner's character, who is not given a great deal to do here in this film, but he's given a couple of moments to shine. And one of those moments, he actually does some of his martial arts as well, which is quite fun, I suppose. So... I think what we get here is a quite tonally odd Western. There's no getting around it. A Western, you know, with a Russian in the lead um, and a Frenchman and German bad guy just feels odd to, to say it, never mind to watch it. But if you do get over that, um, underneath is a, is a quite nicely polished, low-budget Western um, that is fairly entertaining to watch, but don't go in there expecting anything particularly um, um, of, of real top quality, because you're not going to get it, you know what I mean? Uh, the budget is low, but the ideas are fairly decent that go into the film, and it is certainly, um, it feels different when you watch it from the, for the reasons that I have explained. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this review useful. I will, of course, be back with more reviews and content on the channel. Very, very soon.